What is Decentralized Finance, DeFi? Decentralized finance or DeFi is an emerging financial technology that allows people to make financial transactions without the interference of intermediaries and reducing fees paid per transaction. For example, when you go to the store to buy groceries and pay with your credit card, payment goes through your bank, the credit card company, and the grocery store's bank. All of these financial institutions charge fees to process the transaction. With DeFi, however, these intermediaries can be eliminated. How does DeFi work? DeFi was built to eliminate third-party involvement in financial transactions. It achieves this by using blockchain technology, eliminating middlemen, and minimizing delayed payments and excessive fees. Indicative of its name, one of the main features of DeFi is that it is decentralized, meaning it is not regulated by a government or institution. DeFi operates through a peer-to-peer -peer network where everyone has a copy of the transactions, and everyone verifies each transaction before it can be approved and added to a block on the blockchain. Transactions carried out in this peer-to-peer -peer network include sending and receiving money, swapping tokens, savings, investments, lending, and yield farming. DeFi uses cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin as a medium of transaction. DeFi is a financial ecosystem on its own. Like cryptocurrencies, it does not depend on third parties or government regulations for guidance or operational rules. Funds or tokens are kept in a digital wallet that can be accessed from anywhere in the world, if there is an internet connection. What's more? Funds can be sent or received from anyone in any part of the world without even knowing their identity. Although the infrastructure and regulations for DeFi are still in their infant stage, DeFi uses software and systems that are accessible to the public free of charge. Stablecoins, software, and hardware that facilitate the development of applications are all components of DeFi. Anyone can use it by creating an account with one of the many DeFi platforms and acquiring a virtual wallet to store their tokens. There are many ways to leverage these apps to not only have better transactions but to also grow capital or assets. DeFi bridges the gap between supply and demand by drawing people closer in a secure environment. DeFi differs from centralized finance in many ways. Thinking of the store example, from your bank, the grocery store, the grocery store's acquiring bank, to the credit card network, there are an array of financial institutions whose primary motive is profit, so they all add fees to the transaction. DeFi, on the other hand, aims to reduce fees and transaction times while increasing access to financial services. This does not mean that DeFi transactions are entirely free of fees, but the fees are less, making the transactions more accessible and flexible to users globally. There are many reasons why people are attracted to DeFi. The first and most obvious is the ease that DeFi provides as opposed to banking with traditional financial institutions. Transactions with DeFi are faster, smoother, cheaper, and more affordable than transactions with a traditional bank. DeFi has a higher ability to generate income. Yield farming, a process where people can use their money to help facilitate transactions and, in turn, get rewards, is a considerable part of DeFi and an alternative way to make money than depending on low interest rates traditional banks provide. There is also the additional security and traceability that DeFi delivers due to its use of blockchain technology and smart contracts. Ironically, the major drawback of DeFi is that it is vulnerable to security threats. DeFi platforms allow users to protect their accounts using access keys and authentication to sign in. If an account gets hacked, a user can lose all their funds and be unable to recover them. In addition to security threats, DeFi platforms do not enjoy insurance coverage, such as FDIC, for their assets, meaning that if funds are lost for various reasons, the user is out whatever they held on the platform. Some DeFi platforms do have some form of insurance, 
but the coverage is not as vast as the coverage traditional financial institutions provide their customers. As great as it sounds, DeFi is not easy to navigate for beginners. Even the onboarding process can be tricky. For investors, there are also concerns such as volatility and fluctuating yields that can lead to large losses. Recently, liquidity and ensuring a DeFi platform has sufficient capital or crypto to facilitate customer withdrawals has become an issue, with Celsius freezing customer withdrawals and then filing for bankruptcy. DeFi is revolutionizing financial transactions. Even though DeFi is new and developing, it appears it is here to stay. Nonetheless, investors must understand the concept of decentralized finance and its inherent risks before deciding to use it. We hope you liked this video and learned something new. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. We'd love to hear from you, and if you have a topic you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comment section below. Until next time.